I'd been out on a walk in Arnside filming a YouTube video. I was then sat on the pier of Arnside waiting for a natural phenomenon to occur at high tide. Little did I know that these dramatic rescue scenes were going to unfold before my eyes. It started out as a bit of fun walking along the quicksand at Arnside Beach. Slowly getting their legs stuck and pulling them out and taking step by step. What they didn't realise was this bit of fun was soon to turn into a rescue operation involving members of the public, the Coast Guard and the Ambulance Service. Even now, as a young girl in the blue coat, as her legs stuck up to her knees, she doesn't realise how much danger she is in. She slowly sinks further and further now up to her hips in quicksand her friends realize she's going to need help to get out they're using a dog lead to attempt to drag her out but still not realizing the situation is about to get much worse Her friend who is help trying to help her is also getting stuck. They are now taking advice from members of the public. She's going to lie down on her back, spread out her arms and attempt to release her legs. Her friend attempts with all his might to pull her clear, but clearly this is not going to happen.
Now even the dog is sinking into the quicksand. She's slowly getting one of her legs out of the mud. She is slowly sinking back further and further into the mud. Now the mud is right up to her chest. Only the life boy is stopping her sinking, but even the front of the life boy is now starting to sink into the mud. Her friend is also getting into trouble. There are four men pulling on that rope trying to drag her out but she isn't moving. You can see the rope taut and being pulled and pulled but she's only managed to get one leg free, the other leg is firmly into the mud. She's slowly coming out, there are now six men pulling on that rope. lying there totally exhausted. The effort is becoming too much for her. They have her free, she's laid on the sand, but she's in danger of sinking back in if they don't get her off that beach.
But this is not the end of the ordeal for this young girl. She's now safely on the beach with Coast Guard and now on scene and attending to her. She spent over 20 minutes in the cold mud, possibly suffering from hypothermia, exhaustion and shock. She will soon be taken by ambulance to hospital. Right, okay, yeah. We come through the backs and heavy shirt and the flats and that. We'll get home and have done a short walk, so we'll be happy. 